Welcome to Bloodstock. First things first, we will always keep it really simple. How are you feeling? Particularly as you have oh, played now. Oh, and there's just a buzz you can't just can't really describe. <laughs> yeah, yeah when you come off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to like you know get out, see some more bands, and soak up the culture. Uh, Jesse was saying it last night from Kill Switch. It's just like unreal vibe. Walk around the festival. It's a bit unlike anything I've ever been to. First time the Bloodstock. First yeah. time. Yeah. What a way to have a first time yeah. as well. Yeah, definitely not the last. Day. Definitely not. It's absolutely incredible. Are you festival goers aside? Have you been to like download ready um, that sort of thing? Honestly, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty new to the scene. Uh, I went to Arc Tangent. Hey. I really enjoyed that. I'm definitely going back. But other than that, Bloodstock's the biggest one I've been to. Yeah. By far. It's been absolutely fantastic. Who have you seen so far? Who have you enjoyed so far? Uh, Fit for an autopsy oh, okay. was fantastic. Tight thing I've seen and uh, Kill Switch Engage <laughs> blew me away I, I listened to them ages ago yeah. but not for a long time but now I'm going to go back and okay. rediscover a lot of their stuff Yeah, we were singing along to things we didn't realise we'd learned from childhood oh yes 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 yes, yes, yes. you'd be catching up blue blue trip. Trip. oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like a Wouldn't miss that one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. A bit of hardcore, yeah. Oh, massively. We're talking about you specifically. 10.30 in the morning. What a challenge oh, yeah. that is. Uh, a little bit. I mean, talk to me about the mind frame that you have when you know you've got that challenge. You have, whether you like it or not, try and get people's attention yeah, exactly. in a way that nobody else does. Yeah, Yeah. well, we, uh, we turned up on the Thursday and we rocked up at the stage where the barriers were still up and the back of house, all the crew were there. So we were having a chat. They're all really kind and they're like, you, there's no need to worry, a crowd will show up. Yeah. They do every year. Always. And we were like, fair enough. Yeah. You just uh, we'll just trust. Yeah. yeah. And they did. I mean, it wasn't packed out, but you can't expect everyone to be there. Yeah. Exactly. that early with a hangover but yeah. and well, you, I, I you mean it was a good time you can offer more insight to this as you actually saw these yeah, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you guys are great uh, yeah. I can say first hand like, Thank I, was, you. I really liked what I was uh, hearing you also uh, had some did you see any famous faces in the audience because I know there were some famous faces there you had Street Shoulder they were there rocking out to you yeah yeah well yeah. we have bumped into them a little bit in the uh, the yeah, ice camp yeah, yeah. they're really really nice guys yeah, actually yeah yeah, yeah, so it was doing really, really well. Did it fly by 30 minutes? I mean, good God, let's oh, go. Like yeah. lightning, yeah. Just like five. Yeah. We came off and, I mean, it was absolutely amazing. But you have that moment where you come off and you think, oh, what just happened? Yeah. Like, do that, but in the best possible that you want a little bit more. flies by in the best possible way. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, yeah. yeah, I could happily do 45 minutes, but exactly, we just don't yeah. have the music. We'll get straight yeah. back on if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have a moment during the show to drink it in, to stop and just look out and go, okay, yeah, we've made this, we've done this, we've earned this? Yeah. I think so. A few, yeah. but the, the adrenaline kicks in oh, it, it all just like zips by yeah you know? it's a be there's a beautiful moment where I, I start a few of the first songs early in the set list and then you start I think Harakiri for yeah, the yeah. song in yeah, yeah. and uh, that was my moment to drink it in just a couple of bars of eight and I look out and oh just that feeling I suddenly realize where you are <laughs> yeah it's it, it, it's it's a pinnacle it's a of, a of a point in your journey but we never want it to be the end we never want this to be yeah. <laughs> excuse me exactly uh, yeah. the end um so talk to me then how do you build upon this well uh it's been an, a bit of a long road so far um we did metal to masses twice yep. we got wild card first time didn't make it but then we won our final this year which got us here but everyone's been saying this is just the first rung of the ladder exactly. it's the springboard so um yeah we're working on an album yep. get that out uh, we're going to be releasing that in drips and drabs to keep the uh, the ball oh, rolling you know okay. it seems to be the new format you know drop singles exactly yeah we've got the first um, single out at the moment concrete sky but we've, we've yep. got um a bit of a demo going it's about yeah, half exactly. the album but we want, want a little we want you to have that uh, yeah, go away have a listen uh, oh. concrete skulls the single we've got out just before we came here and uh, yeah, check it out on Spotify and exactly. everything. Hopefully by end of the year we'll have the full thing to you. What about live shows? What else? Do you have anything in the works for the rest of the year? Um, no, honestly we haven't, but we've been um, speaking to people around here and there's just so many opportunities going. Um, it's who you know and we've been yeah, speaking to the other bands um, from a bit further afield, try and branch out a bit into different areas other than just our local. So you are using this as a weekend as an opportunity to network. Oh, huge. I know it's a boring yeah. word, but it no, is what no, it is. it's needed. It's needed, yeah. and it's and I think for us coming here, we're obviously always going to massively enjoy the performing experience and just smash it as hard as we possibly could. But this bit for us, talking to you guys, talking to everyone else, this is a huge part of it for us. Um, finding all those bands that are near us, also the people we would never have met. I mean, we were talking yeah, just there, yeah. weren't we? People down in Kent. There's no way we would have normally met those people. 
Um, and that's what we're really hoping is now we kind of we break our own little bubble because we want to break out of it and we we love I mean we love the atmosphere here and it's all this kind of stuff and this is what it's about yeah yeah remind me I have forgotten this and I feel like I'm gonna guess but which of masses did you win it was it Kent no it was uh, uh, Cheltenham Cheltenham yeah. one of the yeah. smaller ones yeah. I think yeah, yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's a, a it, is, it is it is it's quite it's a variety an odd, yeah. of uh, bands there. Um, yeah, it's a really diverse scene yeah, around us. I mean, all, uh, that side we start to think of Essex and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and exactly, Essex yeah, has got yeah. its own one, of course, as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, still dropped in Kent. I'm thinking, wait a minute. Yeah. I know Kent. We live in Kent. We're yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Kent, yeah, exactly. So yeah, and. Yeah. I, and I spend a lot of time in Kent uh, for work and it's one of these things where then come over, back over to the southwest, back to Cheltenham and that's where we make all the music and that's where our little bubble is but yeah, yeah. hopefully now I can connect up all of that. This, yeah, is, I mean, this yeah. is the dream, this is the hope. It is, uh, it is an incredible exactly. accomplishment to do what you've done now but hopefully you will have witnessed yeah, and exactly. heard um, bands start on the New Blood. In fact, we, our previous yeah. interview we see the Nakira. They started the New Blood, they did Sophie and today they did the main stage. Oh, they were fantastic. What do you think wow. you've got to do to follow that trajectory? Oh, I mean... We try and make every show the absolute best we can possibly make yep. it. We try and make every new release we release, we're just constantly pushing ourselves and driving forward. And I think that's the main thing is just keep that momentum going and uh, and not really be afraid to kind of just keep keep going towards things. I think I think for us, it is very much exactly what you said. We view this as that kind of, you know, it's peak of the mountain so far, but it's a bit of a false flat. There's a whole lot more to go and we want to keep climbing up it. Um, and hopefully that kind of, well, just keep pushing, just keep pushing and keep pushing. And the more people we talk to, the better we've got with that. More well, on that, I'm going to lead straight to the next one. From that, go for it. Um, what, what do we need to do? What do people need to do? What do fans need to do? I know it's easy to say, oh, just buy your music. You get on the socials. Get it's, not, not gonna, it's not as simple as that. One. No, no, it's not, yeah. going to push you on. Um, wait, a lot of it is word of mouth, yeah? especially okay. in the metal community. Um, Reputation is a huge thing. And we try and bring so much energy to each performance. Uh, it's hard to stand out nowadays, so many bands flying yeah. around with excellent music, you know. Um, so a bit of a stage performance is maybe something we need to lead into. Okay. Uh, we've got a bit of like a switch up going on on stage. It's sort of, it was organic at first, but people love it. Like uh, our guitarist just pings off into the crowd and hands the guitar to our vocalist who can also play. <laughs> That's so um, it's clever, like, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you need exactly. a bit of a USP yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And so we're trying to lean into that and uh, yeah, it's working for us so far. Uh, I'm really, really pleased for you, and I love yeah. your positivity. I love that you feel so Jack Funk, particularly as it already was hours ago, and now you're on the down. But, as this part of the interview, we introduced Ozzy Osbourne, and here are our oh, randomised questions. Some are based around a festival, some, some are, are a bit wild. Right. Some are my favourite, it. basically. Number one, who is a dream band or artist you would love to see play Bloodstock one day? Oh, well, we saw we had that announcement yesterday with all the bands coming yeah. next year, and a few of those have already been ticked off. Uh, what would it be for you? Oh, God. It's really hard for me because I think bat, I would have difficult. said to you, not loose, and then lo and behold, yeah, yeah. We'll come what, 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 what year to have won it? Ah, oh, oh, who would it be for me? I mean, next year Igor are coming down, and again, yeah. that's one of these ones where I was thinking to myself, that'd be amazing to catch them some year. Basically, this year and next year have done it for me in a brilliant okay. way. Have you, have you got someone? I, I'm, top of my list was Architects. But oh, but you got there we go. Yeah, yeah. There it there is. We go. So I guess I'm yeah. coming next yeah. year. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right. Exactly. What is something you always bring to improve your comfort? Yeah. Festival. Ooh. Oh, well, we haven't been that great this year. Well, I haven't done too many festivals. Yeah. But you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. And What's I, mistake I, you I, made? I, I didn't bring a pillow last time. Ah. Yeah. And, I, I had a number and, one. I've, and I've got a pillow, but I didn't bring any food, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right, at least, I mean, that's fixable. At least I've got somewhere to sleep. So yeah. That's yeah, that. that's true. Uh, well, oh, it's not really a comfort, but just. I mean, like backup wet wipes. Let's be honest. Just you can't have too many. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't do one more. Number three. Ooh. What is your favourite thing about yourself? Yes, yeah, this is one of our deeper ones. Your favourite thing about yourself. We want to keep it positive because there's so much negativity in the world. Yeah. So what do you love about yourself? That's a really lovely question. It's a really lovely thing. I'm gonna let you talk. Um. If you can't answer that, because we know people have struggled with this. Is it a tricky one? one. I, yeah. I, I would say for myself it's probably my calmness yeah. um, I find it rubs off on people a lot but I try and even if I'm nervous on the inside come across yeah. very like collected Incredible. and 
I, I yeah, I value that. Yeah, and I totally agree with that as well. Man. Your calm definitely rubs off. Yeah, yeah on the surface. Really, it's such a value on stage. <laughs> like this is deviating from the question, but every every now and again he'll turn to me on stage and I'm like, oh, I feel good. Oh, oh I wonderful. Feel good. I mean, everyone makes that. me feel good in the band. But every beautiful. time I say that, I'm in a metal band, people yeah, exactly. are like, what? Exactly. That's impossible. In a glorious way. You make eye contact with someone, instant calm. I love it. Oh. How about for you? Me, for me, I think the thing, and it does actually apply to playing, but it's applies to a lot of things. I really love the adaptability. I feel like I'm quite good. I'm not always the best forward planner, but if something happens in a moment, I feel very the Swiss Army able able to deal with it. Swiss Army, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. That kind of ability to just adapt to a situation. Make I can, it work. yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely, mate. It's a good combination, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it I love it, guys. Well. I love it. So we want to hear and we want to hear the future's looking very, very bright for you. Scorer, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Honestly, thanks so much.